week, Thursday and Friday at the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Just give us a uh, quick preview of the games and what you're excited for. Hey, that's always a great tournament. It honors a great man who uh, coached uh, at St. Joseph School for years. Um, always helped us out here. Of course, his son Bruce played for me and his grandson Luke. And when when Mr. Fowler and Coach Fowler passed away, we decided to honor him by doing a tournament every year. And it's been a great one. It was we always had the Martinsburg Invitational. We just named it. But um, always here to help. Always doing what he can do. And and so we figured it's a good time to do it. And it is next Thursday and Friday, the 28th and 29th. We start out on Thursday with North Hagerstown, and they will be playing Lindsley out of Wheeling, West Virginia. That's at 6, and at 7.30, Martinsburg. I'm sorry. Let's back up. North Hagerstown, or Lindsley will be playing Washington the first game at 6. We will play um, North Hagerstown at 7.30. Then Friday night... We do have a JV game between Martinsburg and Washington at 4.30. And then North High will play Washington, and the nightcap will be Lindsley and Martinsburg. And what we try not to – Washington and Martinsburg are in the same league, of course, and we play each other, so we don't need to play in the tournament. But it's always a great tournament, and, again, it's um, it's never easy, but the um, we always have some great sponsors that help us, Smallwood and Small Insurance – and I'm going to put these in here because without them, we don't have a tournament. Brown Funeral Homes, um, Pennington Auto Sales, United Bank, Palmer's Investment, um, the Holiday Inn, Chick-fil-A, Domino's, Orsini's, the new Auto Spa Express on Foxcroft Avenue, and King's Pizza out of Falling Waters, West Virginia. And, and everybody has a part in this, and we make it fun for the the players and uh, it's just we've always tried to bring some great competition in uh we want those games to be close we want them to be competitive uh next year we've already got parkersburg south lined up to come back to the tournament and we've had willing park we've had morgan towns we've had fairmonts we've had a lot of great teams that have come through this tournament uh and um we just had some great players come through. So we're really looking forward to it. I hope everybody comes out and enjoys it between Christmas and New Year's, and that gives you a break to come out and watch some good basketball. Coach, um, last few years, Jefferson's been a part of it. Uh, does it typically, do you guys typically rotate the other EPAC school or what I guess led to Washington? No, Jefferson, in? of course, was given a shot to come back again. They decided to do something else, and that's great. Uh, we've had muscle men in it. Uh, Hedgesville was in it one year, uh, but yeah, in, in Washington's in it now. If they want to come back next year, we'd love to have them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we just uh, try to get a couple locals, uh, because you know, when you're, when you're paying bills and putting up teams and hotels and feeding players, it, it gets rather expensive. So we, um, we just like to have that uh, also the local people. Uh, it draws bigger crowds. So if you want to see good basketball, um, I mean, we've had the Matha in it. We've had some great teams uh, come through here and play. And we just we look for good teams every year that want to come play. Let's take a look at your team this year so far. How's the uh, early part of the season gone? Well, we're, we're, we're 2-0. Uh, we beat a, a good Western Albemarle team out of Charlottesville, Virginia, in the Hanley Showcase. And I was really concerned because they were legitimately 6'10", 6'8", 6'7", a couple of nice guards. And, yeah, we were really concerned going into that game with that being their fifth game and us being our first. Um, but I thought our, our guys uh, hustled. I thought they performed well. Uh, it was close there for a while, and then and it really was close the whole game, and then it ended up um, it ended up a twelve point margin. But uh, but to hold that team um, to thirty seven points is a good job on defense, and, and we've played over it at Broadford and Christian Academy the other night. Coach, um, your team has a few you know newcomers, a lot though that comes back from last year's team, which was a young team. 
Where do you see the differences from last year to this year from those guys that returned? Well, I see the difference in work ethics. I see the difference in attitude. Uh, it's just that we have good chemistry. Uh, we've had some. We've had some kids that come in, or young men that come into our program that have done a great job. It's just a. It's just a whole different atmosphere, and uh, and and it had to be. There was no question about that. I uh, and I've been at Martinsburg since 1975, so this is my 46 year. So it was a year, three years we were off and on. Um, but I tell you what, our, our this the, the we're back to the good bulldog basketball. We're we're going to press 94 feet. I think we've got about 10 players that can get in there and give us some time and quickness, and, and we we can do some good things. You just stated the fact that you feel like the Bulldog basketball is finally back. The last time we talked to you, you mentioned the fact that last year was the first losing season for you guys in a very long time. For the players' aspects, how much does it show to you that they have that chip on their shoulder after the way last season went and going into this? Well, year? you know, we've got a couple of new ones, but they they also understand what Martinsburg basketball has been through the years. And you know, let, let me give credit to where credits due. I, I've had great assistant coaches over the years. I mean, you got to be smart enough to surround yourself with good people, and I don't care whether it's in business or whatever and you know I've always been blessed with good assistance and, and this year is no different you know this is the second year uh, for coach Marcellus Basie who just does a wonderful job has good rapport with the, the uh, young man understands the game of basketball it's funny the other day I, somebody was doing something in practice and I had to correct it and I took one step and, and and his voice is a little louder than mine at this time. And my guy, before I could take that second step, he'd done corrected him and almost said it word for word how I would have corrected that situation. So it's funny, but you know he played he played for me. Uh, then he went on to play at WVU, and now he's back. And you know, in his business, uh, his life business has been teaching skills basketball. So when you put that with uh, with coaching. Uh, and uh, good heart. He's just a hard worker. And then we've added uh, Kip Shallis, who also played for us, and he teaches there at the school. And uh, he, um, he's he been a head coach in Loudoun County for years and now is back coaching basketball at Martinsburg High School. So we think that that's really important uh, to be able to use the, the same guys that went through your program because they know how you think and you know what you want. And, and we we're, we're very happy of where we are right now. Coach, in the early part of the season, um, you know, all six teams in the EPAC have been very competitive. Um, what have you seen so far from the other teams, and what are you looking forward to about conference play as we get closer to that? Hey, folks, I don't think this is any question. This is going to be a very competitive league. This is probably the most even it has been since the inception of that league. And uh, I think that you're going to every night, um, you're going to have to get up and play. It kind of reminds me of the old Tri-State League. You know, when you when we played in the Tri-State League with uh, with North and South Hagerstown and Frederick and Thomas Johnson and Westminster and Waynesboro and South Carroll, if you weren't ready to play every night, you were going to get beat. You weren't going to win. So it's and, and and so that's the way it is this time. I mean, it's I think there's a there's talent everywhere in this division, and I think it's going to be a great year if people want to see good high school basketball. All right, Coach Rogers, before we let you go again one more time, just promote uh, the Skip Fowler Memorial Classic next week. Oh, it is. And, again, that's the 28th and 29th of December at Martinsburg High School. And uh, Thursday will start out at a 6 o'clock game with Washington and Lindsley. Lindsley, uh, everybody hopefully knows about Lindsley. It's a private school in Wheeling, and um, they've just got great players. Now They're coming from everywhere, so they're just and, – and Dave Wojcik is a, is the coach, great guy, good coach, played at uh, Wheeling Central. Uh, and then um, 
The nightcap at 7.30 will be Martinsburg and North High. And then on Friday night, we add the JV game, Martinsburg and Washington at 4.30. And then we to um, the 6 o'clock game will be North Hagerstown and Washington. And the 7.30 game will be Lindsley and Martinsburg. So please come out and thank you guys for promoting that. And um, we just were so much appreciative to be able to, to host something of this nature. And, and we have good teams. Coach, thank you for the time. And, of course, if you uh, can't make it out to the Skip Fowler, of course, we want you to go and, and enjoy it. But uh, we'll have it for you on TV 10. So we're looking forward to being there as well, Coach. Um, uh, Merry Christmas to you and uh, happy holiday. Merry Christmas to you. And we've got the, we've got the um, hospitality room ready, so don't you guys eat too much, but it's going to be right there for you. I always look forward to just being able to turn around and grab some Chick-fil-A or something like that. So thank you, Coach, for the time. Again, Coach Dave Rogers of the Martinsburg Boys Basketball Team.